Let us learn about the do's and don'ts of using online communities. Click the start button to proceed. We have learned about online communities and the difference between online communities and social networking platforms. We also learned that you can join different communities based on your interests. It is important to understand the do's and don'ts and advantages and disadvantages of using these online communities. Let us understand this better with the help of some real-life situations. Chris likes to write blogs. He searched and found that Blogger is an online community for people who likes to write blogs. He decides to join the site and creates his account. He does not know the do's and don'ts of using Blogger. Let us help him. Select the correct answer for each option from the drop-down and click Submit. That's correct. Do's of using Blogger, write strong content. Post regularly and consistently. Connect with other bloggers. Don'ts of using Blogger, use plagiarized content. Post his content in someone else's comment section in a different community, for example, YouTube. Ignore spelling and grammatical mistakes. Mia likes to take videos of everyday things. Her friends suggest her to create a YouTube channel to share her videos with other people. She creates her YouTube channel. Her friends suggest her some pointers that she should keep in mind. She is a little confused about what her friends told her to do. Let us help her with the do's and don'ts. Select the correct answer for each option from the drop down and click submit. That's correct. Do's of using a YouTube channel, post original videos. Connect with other YouTube channel owners. Engage with your audience. Don'ts of using a YouTube channel, publish all your videos on the same day. Keep your channel private. Make it public. Don't ignore feedback. Anya recently joined a school as a teacher trainee. Her supervisor gave her a task to create a quiz for the students on advantages and disadvantages of interacting using online communities. Let us help her identify these advantages and disadvantages. Select Advantage or Disadvantage from the drop-down for each option and click Submit. That's correct. Advantages of interacting using online communities, meeting new people, view reviews of actual users of a product. Disadvantages of interacting using online communities, identity theft, lack of privacy. Select a game mode to practice the do's and don'ts. Practice. Jay and Neil are cousins and share similar interest in biking. Neil has recently moved to Jay's town. Jay is part of a biking group on WhatsApp and asks Neil if he also wants to be part of the group. 
It's good to have you in this town. We can go on bike rides together now. Yes. I am very excited. I do miss the summer vacations when we used to ride together. Well, I have joined a biking group on WhatsApp. They usually share updates about upcoming bike ride events. Will you be interested in going for group rides? Sure Jay. Please have me added to the group. Okay, I will request the admin to add you. Jay asks the bike group admin to add Neil to the group. Neil is very enthusiastic to be part of the bike group and starts to regularly connect with the group members and posts regular updates. But some of his actions and posts are not liked by the group members and they ask the group admin to remove him from the group. The group admin asks Jay to suggest Neil to make changes in the way he posts. Jay connects with Neil and tries to make him understand what he should and should not have posted in the group. Let's help Neil in understanding whether his actions were correct or incorrect. Neil posts non-bike related messages in the group. Select the most appropriate response and click submit. That's correct. Neil should not have posted non-bike related messages. The communities are based on a common interest and people should follow the rules of the group. Neil sends a short description of himself and the bike rides he has been part of as a way of introducing himself to the group members. Select the most appropriate response and click Submit. As long as Neil keeps his introduction short, does not share too many personal details, and mentions information relevant, that's correct. As long as Neil keeps his introduction short, does not share too many personal details, and mentions information relevant. Neil posts pictures of his bike in the group. Select the most appropriate response and click submit. That's correct. As it is a bike group. He can share pictures and details of his bike. Neil asks group members to join other groups. Select the most appropriate response and click submit. That's correct. Neil shouldn't have asked members to join other groups. Bike group is meant to share updates regarding this group and not advertising other groups. Neil invites the members to his housewarming ceremony. Select the most appropriate response and click submit. That's correct. Neil shouldn't have invited members to a non-bike related event. Bike group is meant to share updates regarding this group, and not sharing personal Neil sends a personal message to another group member without taking the permission from that member on the group. Select the most appropriate response and click submit. That's correct. Neil shouldn't have directly messaged the other person without connecting with him within the group. We should respect others' privacy. Lack of privacy is one of the disadvantages of interacting through the online communities.
Neil requests the group admin if one of his friends can come for the next bike ride. Select the most appropriate response and click Submit. That's correct. Neil is right in checking with the group admin to bring a new person for the bike ride. Neil has received some safe bike riding tips from another group. He decides to forward the tips to the members in bike group. Select the most appropriate response and click Submit. That's correct. Neil is right in forwarding the safety tips as they relate to bike riding and are relevant to bike group. Sharing and receiving information in a community of similar interests is one of the advantages of interacting through online communities. Neil is not happy with the time of the next bike ride as he had other other commitments during the same time. He sends rude messages in the group to change the ride time even though majority of the team members approve the time. Select the most appropriate response and click submit. That's correct. Neil shouldn't have sent rude messages if the time was not according to his plans. Group's function is based on what majority of people agree to. I hope now you understand the rules of communication in the WhatsApp group. Yes, Jay. I will send a personal message to the group admin to apologize. I will be more cautious now. Sure. Jay, I also wanted to mention that I have never been part of any online group or community before. After being connected with all the bikers in the group, I have realized that being a part of an online community comes with its advantages and disadvantages. That's right Neil. Why don't you share your observations on advantages and disadvantages of interacting over communities with me? Neil shares his views on advantages and disadvantages of interacting using an online community. Identify each of Neil's point as an advantage or disadvantage. Select the correct option from the drop-down for each option and click Submit. That's correct. Online communities are driven by common interests and bring together people on internet without geographical location being a hindrance. But, disadvantages on connecting over online communities include lack of privacy and sometimes information overload. You are right, Neil. Those are few of the advantages and disadvantages of connecting over online communities. Yes, Jay. I will keep in mind these points in my further involvement in the online communities. Excellent. You have enough knowledge about using online communities. We are sure that you would make the most of them. Select a game mode to practice the do's and don'ts of using groups on WhatsApp. Identify the incorrect options. Click Start to begin. Sherry and Mia are colleagues working at home like hotel. The hotel chain has introduced an official online discussion forum for their employees to share best practices to keep their customers happy. Mia and Sherry are excited about this, as they both have a lot of ideas to share. After all, both have always received praises from their customers. Mia, what a great initiative! 
I can't wait to share all my experiences. Yes, Sherry, finally we can make ourselves heard by the management. So, we can actually tell everyone how difficult it is to always keep smiling at our customers. We can also get some great ideas from our fellow colleagues. Mia and Sherry actively start posting and sharing their experiences with various types of customers. While most of Sherry's posts are purposeful, and help others, in the hotel improve their customer service, Mia's posts are more critical, and at times, rude. Let us help Mia, in understanding the do's, and don'ts, and advantages, and disadvantages of official discussion forum. Mia posts some negative experiences and generalizes all customers as being bad ones. What will you suggest to Mia? Read the options or click the audio icon to hear the options. Select the most appropriate response and click submit. What will you suggest to Mia? Read the options or click the audio icon to hear the options. Select the most appropriate response and click submit. As Mia likes to write, she posts a text version of a blog that she has written on being a working mother. What will you suggest to Mia? Read the options or click the audio icon to hear the options. Select the most appropriate response and click submit. Mia posted some unrelated video links in the forum. What will you suggest to Mia? Read the options or click the audio icon to hear the options. Select the most appropriate response and click submit. For listing some innovative ideas in her appraisal form, Mia shares one of Sherry's ideas posted on the discussion forum without asking permission from Sherry. Identify which risk did Mia take in performing this step while interacting over online community. Read the options or click the audio icon to hear the options. Select the most appropriate response and click submit.
Mia came across a blog on hotel management as a profession for single parents and she shared this blog in her official hotel discussion forum. Identify which advantage Mia took in performing this step while interacting over online community. Read the options or click the audio icon to hear the options. Select the most appropriate response and click submit. Excellent! You have done really well.